Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith. Welcome to the Grow Tent, everybody. You have found the best growing channel on YouTube, man. The place where we simplify the approach for you so everyone can learn how to grow. We make it so simple, even I can understand. So I'm going to listen and learn right now. Woo! What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Grow Tent. Man, my shirt's all wrinkly. Uh, we got a great episode for you today. Today we're going to talk about the simplest method that I've ever found for make sure you're not overwatering or underwatering. And we are going to teeter the line of of underwatering, but we're going to we're going to bring you back right before it. And by doing it this way, you are going to learn. Oh man, I'm not, I got the shadow right there. Uh, just a little bit of hair I got left right there. See it? Mm. Uh, you're going to learn. Um, the best way to figure out the weight that you want from your pot to let you know that it's time to water. So stick around for that today. Guys, have you joined our Patreon yet? If not, you probably should. It's the best one in the game, because I said so. <laughs> um, uh, you can find links to our Patreon in the video description below. Also, guys, remember this video is sponsored by Mars Hydro. If you're looking for any kind of new light, anything like that, you can find a, a link and a descri description, a discount code in the video description below. Also, usually right below our Patreon link. Uh, if you guys ever want to see me mess with snakes or spiders, anything like that, I got another channel for that. It's called Spartan Pythons. I was going to put up my Spartan shirt, but I got my PFG shirt on. Check that out. Look at that PFG shirt. Mm. Looking good. Not very many of them up. This is like one of, I think I have two or three left in 2X, and that's, and then they're completely sold out. I, actually, I don't have very much of anything. I got a few of the WTTT, WTTGT shirts, and a couple Spartan shirts left, and that's it. And then we're all sold out. We got, looking forward to the two new designs that are coming out with the Cherry Atomic Sledgehammer and the Sour Grape Rock Candy. Can't wait till you guys get to see what those look like because GT hit a bolt out of the park. If I don't say so myself, oh, oh, shit. All right, let's get today's episode started. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, watch the whole video. I'll see you guys. Let's go. All right, guys. So today we're going to be, I know I like to talk about overwatering a lot, but it's just because, you know, it's an important part of your growing. It's actually probably the most important part is learning how and when to water. So today I'm going to give you an extremely simple, really, this guy's got no exhaust on his car outside the office here. Just like, hey, that guy. take two, and we're back. <laughs> Hopefully no more noisy cars. Okay, so today we're going to talk about how we can figure out, because our goal is to water on the correct day. So our the way we're going to figure this out, the simplest method I have come up with it, is you are actually going to have to underwater the plant one time. And what you're going to do is you are going to water your plant till complete runoff, and then you are not going to touch it till it starts to wilt. So yes, that is not good for the roots, but overwatering or underwatering is also way worse for them, and you all overwater, not very many of you underwater. But what we're going to do is we're going to, and then we're going to count the days until it wilts. So let's say we watered it and seven days or let's say eight days it was starting to wilt. it'll start at the bottom then the whole plant will do it when the bottom starts doing it that's whenever we can count it so what we are going to do is we're we counted on our calendars we said hey we watered on day one and then we didn't have to water you know then the plant wilted on day eight so now we know every seventh day is when we're going to have to water so we're going to go in there water till runoff and then go now, for the next week, we're gonna go in on day seven instead of waiting till day eight. We're gonna go in on day seven and I want you to pick up the pot. Because we didn't pick it up last week because it was already too dry, so the weight was wrong. I want you to lift up the pot on day seven. That is the weight you are looking for, close to it, that you want to water on those that's what I want you to do get your muscle memory set to is picking up that realizing that this is the weight because at first you're gonna have to pick it up with two hands and then eventually you'll just pick up the ed one of the edges and lift it and you can tell and like me I don't even pick them up anymore I just kind of scoot them with my foot and I can tell by how hard or how easy it is to push whether they need water or not eventually you'll get to that point too where you're just like Okay, I, you can just walk in, slide your foot around on the pots, and you're like, okay, I know it's it's uh, water day probably tomorrow, water day, you know, 
probably needs to be today or maybe two days from now, you'll get there. The thing is, as the plant gets bigger, the days where it needs water, and of course, you know, I'm not even cutting. We're doing live. <laughs> uh, the days that it needs water will start to shrink. So one day, really? That phone hasn't gone off all morning. I'm still not cutting. I ain't doing it. Uh, so the day that, uh, one day you'll walk in there and on day seven, they would be wilted again. But if you were memorizing the weight of that pot, you wouldn't let them get to that point and you would have watered the day before on day six. But you know, when you're learning, don't worry. If you, if you get a little dry every once in a while, it's not the end of the world. Okay. You're trying to mother effort going off again. All right. So that's three in a row. And then the distraction with the, uh, the loud car outside. It wasn't meant to be. <laughs> so you're going to water every seven days until one day you're going to walk in. And then on the seventh day, they're going to be dry. So now you know you need to water every six days. And then once again, go in that sixth day. I guarantee you, if you go in there and pick it up, it's about the same weight as it used to be on the seventh day. Okay, the plant's just a little bit bigger, so it's drinking the water a little bit faster. And that's why you're having to water in a shorter amount of time. Now, whenever I get down to having to where I'm doing that every four days, I transplant to a bigger pot, unless I'm in flower, and then you just kind of roll with it because you're stuck under the net anyway, and you're not transplanting a big old plant in flower. So when it comes to doing this, that is the simplest way I can break down when is the appropriate time to water. If you use this method, it will teach you how the pot is supposed to feel whenever you are doing this. The stuff, I know I haven't talked about this in a long time, but where you put your finger in for the first you know, knuckle or two deep to see if it's still moist, it's, it's stupid. You know, you've got all that extra soil down there. Who cares about what the top soil is doing? It's the first part to dry out anyway. It's gonna lead you over watering. If you wanna check with your, your, your hand to feel it, I'll take my, I'll knife hand this mother effer and I will jam it all the way down the side of the pot till I hit the bottom. Do I feel anything cold? Do I think, feel anything moist? Moist, uh, any kind of moisture? Uh, then you know about where your watering is at. But this stuff with the finger, it's nonsense. Don't deal with any of that. Uh, you wanna check it with your fan all the way down to the bottom. It's not gonna hurt anything. It's just like bottoming of the roots some more. I mean, we can literally chop the roots in half and it's not gonna hurt them. It'll just they'll grow back more and stronger. So you putting your arm down the side of it, if you wanna do it that way, uh, be my guest. But the stuff with the finger, I mean, get it out of here, it's silliness. Uh, what else we got? I think we're, I think we're good. This was just one of the, I wanted to make a short video on this because I had a, a few questions on it. The, the constant pile up. For some reason, nobody wants to go watch the old videos. They only, like the point they join the channel is, only the videos from there forward. They don't go back and watch any of the old stuff. Guys, I got 300 plus videos on and I guarantee I got a subject on whatever you're thinking of. Just go to my page and you know click the little search on the right, not the top, but the one on the right where it searches my channel. I guarantee you'll find a video about whatever topic you're looking for. All right, guys, let's get out of here. Uh, I got a consult coming up in 25 minutes, so I gotta get ready for that. And I'll see you guys next time. I hope all your gardens come out looking just like mine. And if they're not, Get a hold of me. I can help you. All right. I'll see you guys next time.